how to diagnose migraine. Migraine is a highly prevalent and disabling disease, yet so many people living with migraine are still undiagnosed and thus undertreated. The key to improving the treatment of migraine begins with the identification of migraine symptoms, followed by a prompt and accurate diagnosis. Migraine is diagnosed based on clinical criteria provided by the International Classification of Headache Disorders 3rd Edition. Obtaining a good medical history is therefore key. Physical and neurologic examination is also important to exclude abnormal findings or features suggestive of a secondary cause of headache. The diagnostic criteria for migraine includes recurrent headache attacks that have at least two of the following four characteristics. Unilateral location, pulsating quality, moderate to severe in intensity, and aggravation by routine physical activity, and at least one of the two associated features, nausea and or vomiting, or sensitivity to light and sound. This is the diagnosis of migraine without aura. About 30% of people living with migraine may also have aura, which is defined as a fully reversible focal neurologic symptom that lasts anywhere from five to 60 minutes. There are three typical types of aura symptoms, visual, sensory, and speech or language symptoms. Visual aura symptoms are most common and occur in more than 90% of people with migraine with aura. The aura symptoms often present with a scotoma or a fortification spectra. It should also be noted that those who experience sensory and or speech and language aura symptoms will most often also experience visual aura symptoms. This is the diagnosis of migraine with aura. Now, the two most common differential diagnoses in migraine are tension type headache and medication overuse headache. The common pitfalls in the diagnosis of migraine are the misconceptions that migraine is only unilateral in location. About 40% of people with migraine will have bilateral pain and that migraine pain always has a pulsating quality. Many people with migraine will describe a band-like sensation or vice-like pain. So a bilateral pressure-like pain that is moderate to severe in intensity and worsened with physical activity like walking can meet criteria for migraine. Now about 2% of the population has chronic migraine, which is defined as having 15 or more headache days per month, of which at least eight days meet criteria for migraine. To obtain an accurate count of headache days per month, I recommend asking these two questions. One, how many days per month do you have a headache? And two, how many days per month do you not have any headache whatsoever? These two questions will help capture all the headache days for a more accurate diagnosis, as patients often will only report their most severe debilitating days instead of all of the days that they are having migraine symptoms. This will improve the diagnosis and thus treatment of chronic migraine, the most severe and disabling form of migraine disease. To review, number one, a diagnosis of migraine is primarily based on the medical history and should include duration, frequency, pain characteristics, accompanying symptoms, and possible aura symptoms. Two, do not fall in the pitfalls of the misdiagnosis of migraine. A bilateral pain that is pressure-like but has a moderate to severe intensity and worsened with routine physical activity can meet criteria for migraine. And three, ask about headache days and non-headache days per month to increase your diagnostic accuracy of chronic migraine. To learn more about migraine and the treatment of migraine, please check out the other videos on the YouTube channel of the International Headache Society. Thank you.